Hi, welcome to today's class. So today it's going to be about backs, upper, mid, lower back, with lots of twisting and folding, bending, lengthening and extending your spine. Have your yoga strap handy and enjoy the class. So let's make a start coming to lying on your backs and have room around your mat because we're going to be doing some of our shoulder opening and rotations as part of our nice back sequence. So come to lying down, knees bent, feet mat width and let your knees just drop in towards each other. Palms by your sides, arms by your sides, palms facing up. Just let go of the muscles, relax your shoulders, maybe give your hips a little waggle, maybe your shoulders. Tuck the chin, gently lengthen the back of the neck. On your next inhale, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, slide the shoulders away from your ears. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, draw your Uddiyana Bandha up and in, belly button pulling up and in towards your spine. One more deep inhale. And as you exhale, bring the hands up towards the ceiling. Pull the shoulders down, fingers reaching up to the ceiling. Heel toe your feet together. And then slowly start to roll onto your side. I'm coming onto my left, setting up for our nice shoulder openings. So you want your knees level with your hips, more or less, and your shins and feet level with the front of your mat. Palms are on top of each other. If it's more comfortable, you can pop a, a block or a cushion under your head, or if you're fine without one, just let your head sink down. Clamp the knees and feet together. You want to keep them really well together. On your next inhale, reach the top arm wide, spread the fingers, keep the knees together as you slowly open out to a twist and let your arm come as far as it can. Turn your head, but keep the knees together. On your next inhale, engage Banda and bring the arm back up and over. Inhale, reaching up and out to a twist. And exhale, slowly coming back over. Keep the fingers spread wide, palms meet. Inhale, length and out to your twist. And exhale, back up and over. One more time. Inhale, length, opening out. And we're going to pause in the twist. So make sure the knees are firmly together. Don't let them come apart and just relax your, your shoulders and see if you get a little bit more opening in the upper back, in the shoulder, down the side of your body, around your waist. Keep breathing, don't hold the breath. And then on your next inhale, engage Bandha and bring that arm back up and over. Big circles now, overhead. Fingertips are drawing a, a, a circle on the floor, coming up past your head, out to your twist, and down over the hip, coming back to start. Inhale up and open, and exhale down and back. One more time. Inhale up and open, and exhale back. Pause, change direction. Fingertips down to the knees, over the hips. Opening out, keep the knees together. Drawing up overhead and back to the hands. So inhaling down and open. And exhaling up and back one more time. Inhale down and open. And exhale up and back. Clamp the knees together, hands together, coming back up via the center. I'm going to just rotate to the other end of the mat and setting up on the other side. So alignment, knees level with the hips, shins and feet front of the mat, palms together. And you kind of want to roll up onto the outer shoulder and release your head. 
inhale top hand reaches forward fingers open as you come out to a twist keep the knees together and exhale back up and over inhale length into the twist and exhale back up and over inhale as you open turning the head to look at the hands and exhale back up and over last one reaching up and out and then pause breathing here clamp the knees together release the shoulder and the arm down they might come down to the floor they might not but you should feel a lovely lovely stretch on the back of the shoulder the upper back perhaps and down into your twist engage your core and come back up and over inhale fingertips up along the floor into a big circle opening out and exhale coming back inhale up and open exhale down and back inhaling open keep the knees together exhale back to start pause change direction hand goes down to the knees over the hips out to the twist and up overhead and back together inhaling down and open and exhaling up and over one more time inhaling down and open follow with the gaze and exhale back up and over and pause bring yourself to lying on your back knees are bent and walk your feet in towards you so you can touch the back of the heels can't reach just do your caterpillar wiggle down towards your feet so you can easily touch your heels now lift the toes spread them wide place them down and i want you to push into the feet and just push your lower back into the mat drawing your banda up and in and pause exhale release inhale flat back to the mat and just lift your buttocks off the floor and exhale release inhale pull belly up and in as you roll up about halfway up your spine pause and release one more time big inhale as you roll up onto your shoulders and pause here i want you to feel that you're pushing your knees forward squeezing your butt cheeks lifting the hips chin is tucked to chest keep pushing the hips up and then one vertebra at a time, start rolling back down. Inhale, flat back, roll up, bring the arms up and overhead. Maybe coming down to the floor, pause here. Reach the arms longer, spread the fingers wider, lift the hips a little bit more. And then super slowly with control, rolling down, one vertebra at a time, arms coming up and over, and release hands either side of your body pull Uddiyana Banda up and in flatten your lower back lift one leg lift the other leg bring the knees together and feet together now lift your head and shoulders have a look our knees over hips our feet roughly level with your knees palms facing up beautiful on your next inhale start to straighten one leg Point the toes up to the ceiling, really stretch like I'm pulling your big toe and then release back down. Other leg, inhale up, stretch and exhale down. Bringing the opposite arm into it. So one leg and opposite arm lift, arm coming behind you, point the toe and exhale, release it down. Other arm and opposite leg, reaching up, arm coming down and coming back down now opposite arm and legs coming lower so 45 degree angle the legs going to extend long not up to the ceiling and inhale in opposite arm and leg 45 degree angle off the floor roughly 
and coming back in, taking the leg a little bit lower. So make sure you pull belly up and in, imprint the lower back, see how low you can take your leg without your back arching and inhale back up, other side. Low extension and inhale back up. Bring your hands to your knees, draw knees into the chest and then start to draw circles over the hips. Pulling the knees in, opening wide, pushing away and together. Big, big circles go one way three or four times. And then pause and change direction. Use the breath. And when you've done three or four, pause. Pull the knees into your chest, flex the feet. Take the outer edges of the feet. Draw the knees in for your happy baby. And just gently rocking from one side to the other, turning the head as well. Massage your back. And then coming to your still happy baby. Fingers come to toes. Grip those big toes. Extend the legs out wide. Push heels away. Now, my shoulders have lifted. If yours have to, pull them down going to deepen the straddle pose hold on to the toes let gravity do its thing and then release the toes use your core to bring your legs back up feet to the ceiling bend the knees hug knees into the chest give them a squeeze and then hands behind the thighs as you rock and roll up and down your spine to your comfy cross-legged seat pose. So sitting in whatever pose feels comfortable for your knees today, you choose possibly coming to a full half lotus, still a bit much for my knee, and then hands resting on the knees. Length into the spine, pull the shoulders down and away from the ears, draw belly up and in. On your next inhale, look up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, pull on the knees and just start to lengthen forward, coming about halfway down, looking down to the ground. Inhale, coming back up, hold on to the knees as you C shape your back, chin to chest, seated cat cow. Inhale, up, looking up. Exhale, fold. Only coming as far as is comfortable. Push into the knees as you come back up. And then C-shape back, chin to chest. Inhale, up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lifting upright. Exhale, hold the knees, chin to chest as you reach back. One more time. Inhale, length, look up. Exhale, pull belly button up and in as you fold. Inhale, lift. And exhale, C-shape, chin to chest. And then reaching up, coming back to your neutral pose. Left hand to right knee, right hand behind you, wrist close to butt cheeks. Inhale, length. And exhale, start to twist. Inhale, length. Exhale, squeeze that shoulder behind you. Inhale, length, and exhale, turning, twisting, just a tiny bit more. Pausing here. Keep everything where it is. Just turn your head to look over the opposite shoulder. Keep everything where it is. Lift the hand from up behind you. And coming over to a fold, looking underneath the arm. Reach that arm up and over. Feel the stretch down the side of the body, into the shoulder. And then inhale, back up, setting up on the other side. Inhale, length, and exhale, turn. Inhale, pull belly button up and in. And exhale, twist a little more. Inhale, length, exhale, squeeze that shoulder blade behind you. Turning, twisting in the spine. And then keep everything where it is and slowly rotate your head, looking over opposite shoulder. Release the hand from up behind you, bringing it up and over, turning head, 
looking underneath the arm, pausing here. Engage your core, bring yourself back up to seated. Roll over your knees or bring your feet out underneath you, setting up for cat-cow. Before we start our cat-cow, I want you to just do a bit of cat padding. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips, neck is long. Lift one hand off the mat, just a couple of centimetres and replace. Other hand. And just pad from hand to hand. Check out which of your core muscles, which of your back muscles you're using when you're balancing just on one hand. And then keeping that muscle memory, start to extend your right leg long, your left hand long. Engage your core as you lift up. Squeeze your core, tightening your back muscles around your lower back, around your lower spine. Breathing here and then release hand and knee. Come to the other side. First extend long. Inhale, lift, pause. Hold it, feel the core tightening. You'll feel it traveling round your back towards your spine. You need to tighten all of those muscles and then release. Coming back to the first side, lifting up, extending long and release back to the other side. Keep reaching long, keep looking down to the mat. One more time on either side. Get the length, tighten the core and release. One more time on the other side. Extend, lift, tighten, and release. This time we're going to do it slightly differently. So the arm and opposite leg are going to come backwards. So left leg extends behind you, right arm comes up behind you, palm facing up. Reach the arm super long, lift the leg. Keep reaching the hand back, spreading the fingers, keep pushing the heel of the raised leg back. Use your core and release down. Other side, opposite leg extends, opposite arm lifts, reaches, spread the fingers, kick the heel away. Breathing here and release. Once more on either side, leg long, arm lifts, leg lift. Push the heel away, pull the toes towards you, lift that arm a little bit more. Feel your triceps engaging and release. And last time on this side, flex the foot, reach the arm, spread the fingers and release. Bring your left fingertips like you're saluting up to the temple, right, right hand under right shoulder. As you inhale, twisting up, looking up. As you exhale, bring the elbow underneath the right arm. You can bend the right arm to come down, but you're not coming all the way to the floor. Inhale, lift up, rotate up. Exhale, bend right elbow and twisting thread the needle. Inhale, up and exhale, thread that needle. And then coming up, left hand down, right fingertips to right temple. Inhale, twisting up. Exhale, thread the elbow underneath left arm, bend left elbow, look up to the ceiling. Inhale, lifting up, twisting up. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale to lower. Inhale, back to neutral, hands underneath shoulders. Drop your hips to your heels. Take a moment in child pose. Breathing here. Shedding layers if you're getting warm. And so in your child's pose, sink the hips. Relax the shoulders, maybe arms down by your feet and just relax the shoulders. Breathing here.
And then lifting your head, slide your hands away from you in front of you, spread fingers wide. Start to lift the hips until your hips are over your knees. Keep sliding hands away as you lower forehead and chest to the mat, puppy dog pose. Nice deep upper back stretch. Draw your shoulder blades in and down behind you. Squeeze them down and in. Breathing here. And on your next inhale, lift your head, walk your hands all the way back to just in front of your knees. Tuck your toes and come to a fold at the back of your mat. Walk hands towards your feet, coming to a deep fold. Shuffle your feet so they're roughly a clenched fist width apart. Wrap your arms behind your knees, holding onto opposite elbows. Bend the knees and pull your belly and chest onto your thighs. See if you can get your nose towards your knees and then just give your head a nod, a shake, pulling yourself tightly down to your thighs. Now keep the hands firmly round the elbows and start to straighten the legs a little bit. Don't let your chest lift. Try and keep your belly and your chest on your legs as you keep trying to straighten them. Pausing in between every breath, finding that length. And then keep your belly and chest on your thighs. Release your hands down. Let them flop down to the mat. Beautiful. Now creep your hands to your ankles. Hold on to your ankles with your hands. You're going to push down on your ankles and straighten your legs a bit more. Trying to keep belly and chest to your thighs. Deep, deep fold. And then soften the knees. Bring left hand to the mat. And walk it back so your big toes are touching the palm and the thumb. Straighten the right leg. Bend the left knee. Right arm lifting up, twisting up, looking up. Pausing here. Keep reaching that arm. Keep looking up to the hand. And then bend right knee. Bring right hand down. Right hand flat. Left leg straightens. Right Left arm lifts up. Twisting up, looking up. And then slowly release. Chin stays tucked to chest. Arms just dangle as you super slowly start to roll up. Moving really slowly, pulling belly up and in as you slowly come upright. As you slowly start to straighten. Arms reaching out and up, belly button pulling up and in as hands come down to heart centre. Beautiful. Standing with your feet roughly hip width apart, just release your arms to your side. And then you're just going to slowly start rotating, letting your arms just spin out, fling out, turning the head as well. Getting a full spinal rotation here, breathing here. And then slowing it down, gradually, gradually, gradually. And coming to your still pose. Hi, Beatrice. Nice to see you again. So ground down through your feet. Just have your arms by your side for now. Ground down, squeeze the kneecaps up, lift the fronts of your thighs. We're going to get our little pelvic tilt in here. Tiny movement, protect that lower back. Arms start to reach out and reach up. Interlace fingers, push the palms away. Arms are reaching up high, pull the shoulders down. Lift your toes, spread them wide, and then slowly start rocking onto the balls of your feet. Start lifting up, coconut tree, coming up as high as is comfortable for you. Pull the shoulders down, look at something that's not moving. Finding your balance, and keep trying to come up higher. Onto your toes, really up high. If you wobble, doesn't matter. Keep pushing the palms away and then slowly release arms down to the side. Bring the hands behind you. Feet are still hip width apart. Straighten the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, look up, take a little back bend. Pull belly up and in, soften in the knees as you fold up and over. Back to another deep fold. Straightening the arms, straightening the legs. Give your head a nod, a shake. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades together. 
and then release the hands down to the floor in front of you. Take hold of your big toes with your middle index finger and thumbs. Straight legs, straight arms. Pull shoulders away from ears. Keep the legs as straight as you can. As you start to bend the elbows out to the side, can you pull your belly and chest closer to your thighs? Inhale, release. Straight arms, straight legs, straight spine. Exhale, our elbows go wide. Pull yourself down. Pausing here, keep your legs straight and inhale, release, straight legs, straight arms, straight spine and exhale, elbows wide as you pull yourself even deeper down, deep, deep fold and release, release the toes, chin to chest, arms just dangling, soften in the knees as we super slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Pull belly up and in as arms reach out, reach up, and two hearts center. Keeping your feet hip width apart, release your arms to your side. Inhale, one arm long in front of you. Lifting the other arm, start to bring it behind you. Twisting to look over that shoulder. Pause here. Now make sure your hands are both at the same height. You don't want one up and one down. And then keep reaching the arm behind you, turning to look behind you. Keep pulling belly button up and in, strong core. As arms release back down to the side. And coming the other way, reaching up. I can see my arms, one's much higher than the other. So check that both your arms are roughly the same height. Turning to look over that shoulder. And release it down bringing the hands to heart center. Interlace fingers, push your palms away from you. Pull belly up and in as arms lift and then slowly fold one way and back to center and the other way and back to center. Release arms to the side, chin tucks to chest, softening in the knees, arms dangling as we slowly, slowly roll down. Hands come to the mat, walk forwards, one, two, three, four, find your plank. Walk your toes in, spread your fingers, make sure shoulders are over wrists. Pull belly up and in, neck is long. We're going to stay here for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower the knees, flatten the feet, keep your hands where they are. Push your hips towards your heels. Keep the elbows lifted, lower forehead to the mat. Keep pushing into your hands. Keep pushing the hips down, trying to make contact with your heels. And then finally relax the shoulders if you can. It's quite a strong pose in itself. Breathing here. On your next inhale, lift your head, tuck your toes, and we're back in our downward facing dog. Weight stays on the left foot, right leg lifts up high, three legged dog. You can stay here, or you can bend the knee, bring the heel to your butt cheek. You can stay here. You can open the hip, lifting the knee up to the ceiling. You can stay here, or you can flip the left heel down, bring the right foot behind you. Wild thing, lift the hips. Pushing up, opening the chest, breathing here. This is so good for your back. And then flipping back up and over, three-legged dog. Start to shift forwards, bring the knee behind the right wrist. Lower the right, left knee and the foot. Start to slide that left leg away from you. We're setting up for pigeon pose. So first of all, onto your finger hip, fingertips, looking up, arching up. Feel your back stretching and then slowly elbows wide. Make a pillow with your hands and lower your forehead on top of your hands. Stretching out the right hip. The butt cheek maybe. Relax your shoulders. Breathing here.
And on your next inhale, lift your head, hands shoulder width, tuck left toes, and we're back in three-legged dog. Release the right foot to the mat, lift the left leg up high, three-legged dog. You can stay here or you can bend the knee. You can rotate the hip, knee up to the ceiling, looking underneath the left armpit, or flipping over, wild thing on the other side, lift the hips. Pushing the hips up, arching your back, breathing here. And on your next inhale, left hand to the mat, flipping up, three-legged dog. Shifting forwards, left knee behind left wrist. Slide the right leg away, flatten the right foot. First of all, up onto fingertips, arching up, looking up, back bend. And then exhale, elbows wide. Pillow with your hands, lower the forehead, stretching out the left butt cheek, the left hip. On your next inhale, lift your head, hands, shoulder width, tuck right toes, and we're back up three-legged dog. Release the left foot and just pedal out the legs for a moment. Bending one knee, then the other. Maybe pausing, maybe twisting to look underneath the opposite arm as you bend the knees. This should feel quite nice on your back if you are twisting. And then pause in your down dog. Come up onto your tippy toes, bring your knees to the mat. And then just gently slide your legs away from you. Bring your hips down and setting up the sphinx pose. So in your sphinx pose, Elbows are under shoulders, forearms are flat, fingers spread wide. Do make sure your elbows are under your shoulders. And then push your hips, your pubic bone into the mat. Like you're pulling with your forearms and hands on the mat, you're lengthening your spine. Keep pushing down with your hip bones, lengthening in the spine as you start to lift your gaze. Pausing here in the back bend. And as you exhale, lower chin to chest, release. Inhale, push hips into the mat, length into the spine as you look up. And exhale, release chin to chest. Inhaling, length. And exhale, release. Bring your elbows wide and lower your forehead to the mat. So you just want your forehead on the mat. Bring your legs in closer together and then bring your arms by your sides, palms facing upwards. Push your hips into the mat. Reach your arms long so you're trying to grab your toes, which you obviously can't. Feel the shoulders pulling away from ears. And as you inhale, push hips into the mat, start to lift your forehead. Lift your chest, lift your arms, bending up into your back bend. And exhale, slowly, slowly release forehead down. Inhale, push hips into the mat as you lift up. Lift the hands a bit further. And exhale, slowly lower forehead to mat. Inhale, length. And exhale, release. Keep your forehead on the mat. Bend your legs. Bend at the knees. Right hand takes top of the right foot. Left hand takes top of the left foot. Bring your knees wider, but bring your big toes together underneath behind you. Holding on firmly to your feet. Push hips into the mat. Inhale, start to kick hands into feet. Pull the feet up, lifting head, shoulders and chest. Coming up to your bow pose, pausing here. Squeeze the shoulders together. And then slowly release, keep hold of the feet. Forehead down, knees down. Inhale, lifting up, maybe looking in front of you. And exhale, release one more time. Inhale, up, kick hard, kick hard, lift those feet a bit higher. Squeeze the shoulder blades together a bit more. And then slowly, slowly, release the forehead. Keep the knees where they are. Make a pillow with both hands. And then just ease out your lower back, moving your feet from one side to the other, releasing any lower back tension.
and then bring your feet down tuck your toes hands either side of your chest we're going to push up to our plank pushing up to your plank walk the toes in hands under shoulders push the heels away squeeze the kneecaps draw belly button up and in as you now push up to your downward facing dog pausing in your down dog look at your hands are they shoulder width push into the hands chest chest towards your thighs and lower the heels pausing here take a couple of nice deep breaths in your down dog keep pushing your chest extending the arms breathing here Now lift your head, look towards your hands. Bend your knees and just believe you can do this because we're going to take a jump forward, bringing your feet outside your hands and we're going to come straight into our squat pose. So looking forwards, bend the knees, push your belly towards your thighs, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, jumping forward, taking your squat pose. Nice. Adjust your feet where, however you need to, to come into your I say comfortable, it's all relative, relatively comfortable squat pose. Bring the knees wide, pushing the elbows apart, looking straight in front of you. Let the hips sink down, breathing here. And then bring your arms behind you, using them as brakes and bring your bottom down. Extend your legs long in front of you, give them a little bash on the mat. Move the flesh away from your sits bones, flex your feet, belly up and in. Inhale, arms wide and up, looking up. And then keep the length in your spine as you start to fold forwards, pausing about halfway. A little gentle rock from side to side. And then slowly lowering your belly, your chest down to the thighs, taking hold of your feet or use your strap to pull yourself down onto your thighs. Release chin to chest and just breathe in your deep forward fold. On your next inhale, lift your head and let your right hand take hold of the left big toes. As you move the strap out of the way, as you lift up, lift the leg. Left arm comes out behind you, twisting to look over the left shoulder. Push the left heel away, reach the left arm. Can you turn a little more? Can you find a bit more space in your spine, in your shoulders to deepen that twist? And then bend the knee, bring the left hand forwards, take hold of the big toes with the left hand, straightening the leg, right arm lifting behind you, looking over the right shoulder, push that left heel away from you. And release, gently place the foot down, reset yourself for another forward fold. Inhale, arms wide and up. Get the length in your spine to then slowly fold forwards, belly, chest to thighs. Take hold of your feet, chin to chest in your deep forward fold. Relax the shoulders, breathing here. Lifting your head, left hand takes hold of the right toes. As you lift up the leg, reach the right arm behind you, turning to look over that shoulder. Reach a bit further. And then swapping hands, right foot to right toes, left hand behind you in a twist. And release the feet to the mat. Beautiful. Walk your feet in and make sure you're sitting about halfway down your mat. And then you're just gonna slowly release yourself down, bring the feet in, the feet up to the ceiling, using momentum, maybe coming up to a shoulder stand. See how it feels. If you want to use your furniture to bring your legs up, whatever you do, don't turn your head though. Drop your knees towards your forehead. Walk yourself up so you're bringing your buttocks up higher, elbows closer. 
and finally reaching your feet up. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can simply come to legs long, feet up to the ceiling. If you're by a wall, you can rest your feet on the wall. We're only going to stay here for a few moments, just a tiny little inversion. Breathing here. And if you're in shoulder stand, just softly, softly bend the knees. Use your hands as brakes to slowly, slowly lower yourself down to the mat. Bring the knees into the chest. Give them a squeeze and a little rock and roll from side to side. Turning your head, massaging your back. And then pause with your knees bent. T-shape your arms, palms out up to the ceiling. Slowly lower both legs to one side, all the way down. Turn head in the opposite direction, taking a full twist. Relax your shoulders, relax your waist, relax your legs. And then engaging your core, lifting back up to center, lower the legs the other way, turn head in opposite direction. Relax. Engaging your core. Knees come up for one last hug, one last squeeze, and then release your feet, your legs for your Shavasana, whether that's knees together, feet mat width. Soles of the feet together, knees out to the side in Sukta Baddha or legs extended long, full Shavasana. Whichever option you're taking, palms are facing upwards, shoulders are relaxed. Relax your face, relax your jaw, relax your chin, relax those shoulders. Focus on the breath. Deep, slow, even breath. And so gently, starting to roll your head, chin towards one shoulder, back to centre, and the other side, chin to shoulder. Just moving your head from one side to the other. And starting to move fingers and toes, rotate wrists and ankles. Extending your legs if knees are bent, slide the feet together, point the feet away from you. Inhale, arms up and over behind you, interlace fingers. Take a full body stretch, point the toes, push the palms away. And then slowly bring one knee into the chest, the other knee into the chest. And rolling once more side to side, massaging that hard working back. And then rolling onto one side, using hands, pushing up to your comfortable cross-legged seat pose. Bringing your hands to heart center. Draw the thumbs between the breastbone. 
push into your sits bones, lengthen the spine, and then hands to the third eye, to heart center, and namaste.